Well, that sucks. How's it going, guys? Balder here, and I am continuing with The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I am currently in the past, and I am going to fuck up the future, because, you know, I'm a dick like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and go away from this horribly painted background church, temple, whatever you want to call it. And go to Kakariko Village. This time, we are going to go to that one place. You know which one I'm talking about. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Anyway, so let's go ahead and go to Kakariko Village. We will need to go to the bottom of the well, and... I don't need bombs, or actually I don't even need boomerangs that much. I'm c gonna kind of streamline this, to be honest. Because I'm pretty sure I have plenty of skull tolas. I'm not too worried about that. I just need to get this thing... well, finished. Alright, so I'm uh, moving up the stairs. We're heading into Kakariko Village. And... Well, we have to get to the windmill first. Uh, okay, I was about to say, I find it kind of weird that the post wasn't there. Because in the past, it should definitely be there. Alright, so... Ah, oh, shut up, Navi. Now I am going to play the song. Don't ask me where I got that, because that is a really messed up story. But apparently... I'm guessing that's really windy as well, though I'm pretty sure none of that is animated. It looks like the windmill is completely in charge of the water levels. I have no idea what it's siphoning the water sources for, but hey. That doesn't necessarily matter. What does matter is that we head down the well. Wait, hang on. Alright, we're good. We are good to go. Welcome to the bottom of the well. And many people already know about this place. It is... Mm, let's just say... Very spooky. I'm not just talking about the giant Skulltola right here. I have no idea what that is. Look for the Eye of Truth. Sound. 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 Advice. But uh, I don't need to worry about that too much. I... pretty sure I can streamline this pretty easily. I just need to go here. Drain the water. So yes, at the bottom of the well, it is full of corpses, it is full of baddies. It is full of things that makes me believe that maybe, just maybe, we shouldn't be having... We shouldn't be drinking from this well. I mean, call it a hunch and a half. I think this is a key? Nope, heart. And totally forgot what's here. Mm. Well, when in Rome.
Alright, so now that we're done with that... Well, this happened. Also, I'm about to get raped in the back by these things. Oh wait, yeah, I totally forgot. That didn't help as well! Oh shit, okay, okay, okay. That was bad, that was really bad. Well, let's first off, freeze this guy again. Oh god. It's called consent, what the hell? So, let me get this straight. This provided absolutely nothing for me. Oh wait. I got a heart piece! To replenish the heart that I lost. Wow. Good work. Oh. Wait, there's more. More hearts. And that's it. Okay, what a waste of time. And I said I was going to streamline the whole thing, but yeah, apparently not. Call me Balder the Hypocrite. Alright, so moving on. I believe this is where I must go to get the Lens of Truth. The Lens of Truth allows me to see things that are invisible. And that's all I really need to. Yeah, I'm going to ignore that. But I'm going to go through the door. Yeah, you know which door I'm talking about. And this makes me wonder how the fuck Nintendo thought it was a good idea to advertise this towards kids. Ah, good going, Balder. Oh boy. Alright. Good news for this guy is that even though he is creepy as fuck, and he is a product of nightmares, he's not too difficult. Yeah, that's right. Run, you bitch. And of course, the shockwave of him digging back in hit me. And of course, he dies in the most unsettling way possible. Twitching as he's dying. I mean, um... Okay. And now we have the Lens of Truth. What does the Lens of Truth do?
Um, well, it allows you th to see things that are invisible. Oh, wait. Thought that would take me to the beginning of the dungeon. But, uh, that was not the case. But I don't need to stay here for any longer. By the way, yes, that guy is easy to uh, avoid. And yeah, so this is what the Lens of Truth does. It allows you to see things... ...that are blocked. It allows you to see things that are there, and it allows you to get rid of things that aren't there. Alright, so... Moving on, I still need to find my way out of the well. And if you're wondering, yes, if I get hit by that guy, then that means I'm going to... well... I'm going to lose my shield because it is a fire, whether you think about it as a fire or not. Not there. How do I get out of this well? Uh, that did not work. Yeah, let's just warp. I don't need to stay here any longer than I actually have to. Alright, good to go. Gonna pull the Master Sword out again. I'm gonna head back to the future. And then I'm going to destroy the evil monster in the Shadow Temple. I remembered it. Yay. So I believe this is actually the point where you have to have Din's fire in order to progress in the story, which is fine by me. Alright, so... Go ahead and get Din's fire equipped. Also, in terms of practicality, the Goron tunic is much better than any of the other two tunics. So that is what I am going to use. Going to long shot my way across. Yeah, so we no longer have... We no longer have the hook shot. We now have the long shot. But yeah, this can kind of give an idea of where you need to go. Another fun fact with the Lens of Truth is that if you were to do that... You would be able to get through. Okay, I mean, yeah, great. A lot of... Diatribe. And then we have to face this fucker again. And he's behind me. God damn it.
Fucking attack me, douche. Come on, reemerge. Uh, so the, the one thing I don't particularly like about this temple is that you get all the stuff early on. Like, that's it. That's your only mini-boss. That's the only thing you are getting. Mind you, these hover boots are nice. And they can be used in places beyond the Shadow Temple. That said... It is kind of a letdown because I don't get anything else from this temple. Its benefit is being absolutely unsettling. And as a kid, it I, I was pretty disturbed by it. Maybe I'll get myself a map or a compass or something. Alright, so... What do you have here? A map. Got it. And arrows. Something we definitely need. Just that, honestly, I do not like the ridiculous exposition that I get in that area. Hmm. Interesting how they have the Gerudo insignia. I think that's with all the blocks. I mean, that must be the right one, right? God, that was a douche move and a half. In fact, I don't think that has ever happened before, or if it did, I forgot about it. Ah, so it's a bit of a delay timer, got it. All right, welcome to the Valley of the Dead. Not the Valley of the Dead, but the Temple of the Dead. It 
So yeah, if you flicker it like this, you're not going to waste any magic. Wow, I can't wait to get a compass. I mean, it does seem pretty cliche if you ask me. It's like, uh... Face a mini-boss. And then get a nice reward, which works for me because then it's, uh... It softens your expectations, I should say. I hate this room. And if you're wondering, yes, the giant rotating scythes might have something to do with it. Totally might have something to do with it. I don't need to be here just yet. Yes, I always have to wonder what the uh, symbolic significance of this temple was. Obviously, this is a massive temple. Probably the biggest temple in the entire game. And what does that mean for us? Well... I mean, it certainly means that a lot of time and effort was put into building this temple with amazingly good architects. That thing is... Yeah, I think not. But I always wonder what the meaning of the Shadow Temple was. It's like, when you cross that gate into the Hall of the Dead, are you entering another world? Like, literally, are you entering another world, another part of the universe, a different dimension? You get the idea. Oh, come on! I was totally clear of the guillotine. Wasn't clear of this douche, though. Alright, so, now that we're through that... Oh, those guys, huh? Remember them from the forest temple? You guys are terrible fighters, you know that? Be 
But yeah, a bit of a pro tip. First off, I should have made that. Secondly, fool me twice. Shame on me. I guess I have to fight you again. How am I ever going to get past this game? How am I ever going to beat this game if I can't get past this guy? I have no idea why I thought that would work. No, 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 no! Oh, come on. Oh, okay. I almost did it again. <sighs> okay. First off, you die. Secondly, you die as well. Thirdly, you die. Fourthly, I'm feeling generous, you get to live. How did that... Uh... I'm getting worse at this. Also, fuck this. Save stating. How did you hit me? What the fuck are you doing right now? Uh, 
Okay, cool. Alright, so now that we moved past that... Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. So this part is... Mm. This part isn't too bad. Definitely gonna get this guy though. Grab this, and that benefited me in no way, shape, or form. This will. I believe this is the key. Might want to get myself the hover boots for this one. hit one of the buttons incorrectly. That sounded like a ceiling monster. Yeah. <laughs> 
Is that too far, even for the coveted long shot? How peculiar. Um, there's nothing... ...particularly useful here. Headshot. Oh wait, there was something useful here. I thought it would just give me some rupees, but yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and head back. Uh, how generous. Ah, uh, yeah, so I needed the Lens of Truth for that one. Otherwise, total pain in the ball sacked. Not gonna lie. Okay, giant fans. Which I don't know if I have any more of, but hey. Now I'm heading towards a segment where I have the sole reason as to why I'm wearing the fire tunic. Yes, I remember that from memory.
Alright, so, so far, so good, and wow, we're uh, already here. Yeah, this is actually uh, a lot closer to the end than what I was expecting. Which is good, because by the way, that gives me a shortcut all the way to here if I ever have to repeat the temple. Or I could just do that. One of the two. So this is where questions really start to be asked. Because this is supposedly the ferry to the other world, to the un land of the dead. That sort of shit, right? But for the entire thing, this has all been just a physical location, so where does the whole... But where's the whole part about uh, reaching the land of the dead come in? I'm, can you really say if you go deep enough into this temple that you're going to enter another world? And why am I thinking so philosophically about this? Ugh. Oh well. Either way, this... will take us to the other world, which looks absolutely no different from the rest of the temple. But hey, maybe I should take their word on it. Maybe this isn't just an insanely underground temple. Or maybe it is. Also, while I was distracted, I didn't see anything change. How about that? Get to a safe platform? Sure. In fact, how about I go one step ahead? Prove my aim a little bit. I'll need to use that sometime. Sometime I will have to use that. But for everything else here, we get to the spooky part. Walls are there when you can't see it. Walls are visible when they're not. Yeah, those guys aren't getting to me.
Made things easier? Great. So, got ourselves what I believe is a key. This key will be for other purposes. Also, wonderful attention to detail how we have uh, mountains of skulls. God, I can't even. Can't even be bothered to even. All right, so this was a particularly pointless room that I thought was happening earlier. Yeah, nice try. Nope, not what I needed. This is what I needed. And I have to finish you off before he, you attack me. All right. What do we have here, boss key? Not what I wanted to do, I'm just so used to using the bottom arrow. Okay, so... Let's move back to this. Let's, uh... Escape from all that crap. And go over the land bridge, uh bridge I made while destroying a very big statue. A very big statue that nobody ever looks at, so I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Plus, I'm probably the only human being around for miles because I'm sure Impa is fucking dead. Impa, Impa, whatever you want to call her. Basically, my theory is that the sages are dead, and a lot of people agree with me on that one. Alright, so it is time for the boss battle. Um, fire arrows are an absolute no-no for this one. Lens of Truth. Hookshot doesn't particularly do much. Okay, I think we're set. Even with my health reduced, I think we are set to face up against Bongo Bongo. 
Which is interesting because even though he is kind of creepy, he is nowhere near as creepy as, say, uh, Dead Hand. Which is, my god, gave me nightmares when I was a kid. Then again, not a lot of things really scare me nowadays. Especially not in... Especially not in video game form. A lot of people say, hey, um... Yeah, try that again, fucker. The only downside is that this guy hurts like fuck. Oh, you are so dead. I wasn't talking about me, don't worry. But Jesus Christ, this boss does hurt, that's for sure. You're gonna pay for that. Fairies are valuable resources. There you go. Now you're dead. Or dying. One of the two. I... It is a little bit unsettling to see his death, but I could say the same for all of the uh, bosses, except for maybe Twin Rova, which would be in the next temple, but hey, that is where I am going next. Uh, kind of on the fence about whether or not I should make a uh, video on the Spirit Temple, because if I'm being honest, this was only for Halloween. After this, I'm back to making aviation stuff. In fact, I'm also making a video on Romania. Because, you know, Transylvania is a very mm, spooky place. So, we'll see. Either way, glad you guys have enjoyed, or hope you guys enjoyed. Glad you guys watched, and as always, you have a nice day.